This is going to be a very short video. I'm going to try and make it very rapid fire. This is how I make the lenses for my ECM buttons and indicators. First, we start with a cast acrylic, 1.5 millimeters with the paper. It measures about 1.66. That's important when we set up the, uh, the settings for the CNC. First thing I'm going to do with this bit, this V-shaped bit, 20 degree, I'm going to engrave the top uh, lettering and numbering on the switches. I've loaded in the first file for the engraving in um, open builds. Let's start the CNC. Run job. Sorry about the sniffles, folks. Garage door is open and it's kind of chilly. This might not look like much but you'll see later as we fill it in with paint. Now it's time to cut the parts out with a 1.5 millimeter end mill. The bit has been changed over and the cutting file has been changed as well. Let's run the job. Parts have been engraved and cut. It's time to fill in the engravings. Now that the parts have been engraved and cut, it's time to fill in the engravings. Now let's fill in the engravings. I'm using Tamiya Model Paint XF2. That's a flat white, pure white. I just want to get this in there nice and light. Just enough to fill it in, then I want it to dry. And then I'll recoat it because I want to build up the layers inside of the engraving, not on top, even though I will be removing that. You can see there's a little bit of paint there. I used a paper towel and I wiped off the excess. There's still a little bit there, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to use uh, some 2000 grit sandpaper later to take the gloss off the, uh, the button on this face. And I still need to put another coat of fill. You can see on the part on the left, I haven't sanded it yet. You can see that reflection. And now compare it to the one on the right. That light overhead is very diffused. And that's what I want for the lighting. I don't want to be able to look through this um, and see the LED bulb behind it. It also gives it a, a much nicer look to it. Even though I've sanded these and taken the shine off, I'm still going to put a coat of Krylon uh, clear matte finish on it. Because this is model paint, it's not meant to be touched. So over time, it will wear off and pretty quickly. So I want to protect that. I'm going to put a very fine mist over it to kind of seal that in. But you can see how crisp and clean the paint in the engraving comes out with a very, very light sanding. I basically just put this piece of uh, sandpaper on the table, turn these over, and just rub it in circles um, very, very evenly and with very light pressure. And that cleans it up beautifully. This is the paint I like to use. You want to make it very fine and very light coats because you don't want it to run. While the first coat of paint is drying, I'm cutting out the template that I can drop those parts into that will hold them in place while I engrave the backside markings through black paint, which I will do next. Now that the clear top coat has dried thoroughly to seal in the uh, white paint in the engraving, now I've pressed that face down into some ultra sharp line multi-surface scotch tape. And now I will paint this side black in preparation for laser engraving. After painting them black, I set them into this template. This is what they look like as they go in there. Focus, please. Thank you. That's the top. It looks like it's painted black, but it's actually not. That's the flat clear. 
the back is what's painted black. So now I put them inside this little template that holds them in place. That's when the laser engraving begins. Special laser goggles on again. It's time to engrave. This is with uh, light burn, by the way. We'll check back on this when it's done. And finally, a couple minutes later, we have our finished parts. Here's a close-up of the finished product. This was all done on clear acrylic, remember. There's the engraving, the white paint. That's engraved with the CNC. The back engraved with the laser through the black paint. Let's take a look at light. And you can see the light comes through. So the LEDs will light that up. And if you go look at one of the posts, I guess they call them community posts, you can see some photos of a, another set of these that uh, have the appropriate lights behind them. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.